Hello, welcome back to My Car Cave. It's been more than a minute since I posted a video, but that's primarily because I haven't had anything new uh, to post a video about. Um, I have had this one for a little while. This is a, a Max Verstappen US helmet. And then I just got this orange one over here, uh, which is Max's uh, orange tribute helmet. Uh, he's primarily using the orange helmet at European circuits, while the blue one here will be used at uh, the U.S. circuits this year. Uh, let's go ahead and take them out of the box, and we'll take a closer look at each helmet. Before we get into the helmets, let's talk a little bit about what you get with the Max Verstappen collection helmets. Uh, first off, you get these boxes that uh, reflect the livery of the helmet on the box. Uh, you get the Lion logo on the top. Um, you get, like, so here you get the U.S. flag. This is the U.S. one. You get reference to the three championships here and the Max Verstappen logo. Um, on this one, you know you're getting the orange helmet with the crowd on it. Uh, again, you get the three stars and the Max Verstappen logo. Um, in addition to that, you get this Aero chin spoiler. I have not put one of these on yet. Um, probably just because I'm too nervous I'll do it wrong and I won't like it. Um, I have, however, used the tear-offs. You get three tear-off visors in here. Uh, that adds some realism. And I've seen people put the both the chin spoiler and the visor or the tear-offs on it look pretty good. Then you also get this uh, helmet case here, or this little cover with the Max Verstappen Lion logo, which I think is pretty nice. Um, obviously, I just store it in the box and so my helmets are on display. And then lastly, uh, you get one of these, uh, whatever the latest photo card is uh, from the Max Verstappen website. Obviously, it's giving you an advertisement to come to the website on the back here. You know, most of the time I throw them away or, or whatever, but it's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, so that's what you kind of get with these helmets versus say, you know, other helmets that are on offer uh, in this scale. You get a lot more with the, the Verstappen ones. Again, I get them from the, the site directly. Okay, like a, let's look at each helmet uh, a little bit more closely. Again, this is, like I said, a helmet that Max is using at all three U.S. Uh, Grand Prix. So he uh, used it at Miami already. He will use it in Austin uh, coming up later in October and then uh, again in November in Vegas. So um, it's not, he did not use it in Canada, will not use it in Mexico. This is a U.S. Uh, helmet only. So... Going ahead and looking at this, what's kind of cool is it's this matte color. It's this matte blue. Uh, first off, what's I think really interesting, it's got this blue iridium uh, lens, which all the other Max helmets have kind of had that orange color in the past. Uh, some of Checo's uh, helmets have had this blue one, so it's kind of exciting to have uh, one of these for, for Max. Um, all the outlines are done in this kind of chrome silver. Uh, you can see the lion there. It looks pretty neat. Um, the Heineken Zero. Uh, and then back here, you get the reference to the U.S. with the uh, American flag on it. Uh, and then you get these cityscapes, which I haven't looked in close detail, but primarily looks like Vegas. But maybe it also makes reference to Miami here. Um, I'm not sure what Austin, how Austin would be represented in here, but I'm sure it is in some way. Maybe it's these taller buildings um, here. So then on the back, you get this uh, the three gold stars for the three world titles from Max. Uh, the unfortunate part with the matte uh, finish of the paint is you can kind of obviously it's a little more obvious where the stickers or the logos or decals are put on. And that's just something that wouldn't appear on the real helmet. But, you know, at this scale, that's kind of what you're going to get. But overall, really nice, interesting helmet. Very different from all the other ones in the Max collection. So uh, it's been kind of nice to have something that's uh, traditional Max uh, design, but in a kind of different color scheme. So let's look at the orange helmet. So this is called the orange tribute helmet. Um, and this one has been primarily used at European GPs, although not all of them. Uh, it's kind of been at his uh, favorite uh, ha favorite races to have orange helmets that he's had in the past, like Spa, the Dutch Grand Prix. I think this debuted in Spain, so maybe the tribute is to his first 
uh, win with Red Bull or his first win in his F1 career. Um, and then it's been used at, uh, yeah, like I said, Spa, Spain, um, the Dutch Grand Prix. Uh, let's see where else. It was not used at Imola or Monza or the uh, British Grand Prix. So it's kind of been here and there. Anyways, again, this is his you know, orange design. He had a chrome orange one maybe two years ago. Um, it was a little darker, more copper looking, and, and, and the highlights were, you know, this area was kind of a bright orange. Uh, I'll throw up a video of it in here, but I really like this one because it's got the the Red Bull coloring. It's got this Dutch orange reference here uh, in Max's traditional um, helmet design. Obviously, you got the line up here with this uh, nice chrome orange background. It's a little darker in, in the camera than in person. However, the crowd, again, the background is a crowd. I, I can't tell you from what race. Maybe it was the Spanish Grand Prix. Maybe it's a Dutch crowd. I, I really can't tell in here. Um, but anyways, it, it's a, this is a really sharp-looking helmet. Again, you get the, the reference to the three world championships back here with the Max uh, logo and now the MaxForstappen.com uh, website on there. Um, yeah, the more traditional orange kind of uh iridium lenses that you that are more common on the max helmets uh versus the blue one here but anyways overall i think a really sharp helmet i was excited uh when this came available and i was excited to uh get it and i'm just looking at it for the first time i think it's yeah just super sharp looking great for the max collection which is ever growing i, I do appreciate that he's finally using some of these special helmets for multiple races. So I'm not compelled to buy every single one that comes out uh, every year. I have more max helmets than anyone else. But that said, these are two great helmets. Um, short video here. I do have some more, uh, I did get some more F1 cars in and I, I do see that there's plenty more out there that uh, I need to uh, order or want to order. So hopefully this starts kind of the fall, uh, fall video uh, session after a, a kind of a summer off from, um, recording anything. Anyways, thanks again. Uh, and over that time period, we had uh, over a thousand subscribers. Super cool. I never thought that was a, a possibility. Um, so I thank all those who did uh, did subscribe. I, and I haven't inundated you with videos. So hopefully you appreciate that. And uh, yeah, look forward to making some more videos. Thanks again for watching. And uh, please uh, comment as you feel uh, needed.